Starbucks is rising back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm definitely doing blessed and highly favored, and I hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for the beautiful vibes you sent me while I was gone and I was down for a minute. I really greatly appreciate that. And for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of my video. Or you're just telling me about your empathic gift that's been placed upon you. Or if you feel like the video has just put you in a good place or it gave you some, you know, good information, go ahead and pass it on. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It's all greatly appreciated. And thank you for stopping by my channel. I hope you're able to get something out of the content of my video today. And the meditation music that I'm listening to today is Shemaic meditation music. Healing, calm, soothing, relaxing music. I will post that link in the description box below and my video today is about twin flame 101 all empath shifts bring about a positive change i don't know about you but i hope you leave me a message telling me something positive that has happened out of your life throughout these shifts because i think we have had like about four or five shifts in the last since last august of last year and anybody who's been going through anything it's supposed to be like you know anybody who started going through stuff last year from what I'm told and the stuff that I'm reading up on, they're basically saying this is supposed to be the last time you should be going through something really heavy. You know, it's just like, you know, you've been going through things. The shift has brought about a positive change, even though it probably put you in a negative situation or you've been put in a negative situation during this change. You know, people have, you know, lost family members, you know, a job situation, relationship situation, financial situations. Life has been turned upside down. I've seen so many sad and crazy comments on people telling me the things that they've been through. And it's all bringing about a positive change in your life. It's just how you have to look at it, how you perceive the things that are going. You know, there there could have been people that you've been spending your lives for years that you just finally went through your awakening or ascension or kundalini and just decided, you know what, it's not worth having this person in my life anymore. They're, you know, they're draining me or they're bringing back, you know, negative energy. They're not, you know, bringing anything to the table or I just, you know, you just don't have things like that in your, your, your aura, in your space anymore. So it's just like you're learning more things about yourself. You know, you could be going through awakening and been going through all these things and never knew what it was. Some people don't know that they're going through a kundalini a, a attack or a kundalini, you know, symptoms or, you know, they go through ascension. You know, there's so many people that I've talked to lately and they're like, what is it that you go through? You know, you go through flu-like symptoms. You might have past vomit that constantly keeps coming up. You're dealing with closure. You're dealing with things that you're letting go. So those bring about a lot of positive changes. Even though the things might not be comfortable, it's not supposed to be comfortable. Anything, anytime any changes in your life, it's not going to be comfortable unless you're doing it yourself and you know. But there are some times when you're going on your journey and you know it's not comfortable. It's not going to always be easy. But you know that you're not giving up. You know you're going to keep pushing and you're going to keep thriving. And that's what you're supposed to do. And that brings about a positive change for your life. You're being the best version of, version of yourself. Even if you're not exactly where you want to be, there's a reason by every stagnation we go through. There's reasons behind every pain and mishap and setbacks we go through. But it's just how you look at them. How are you able to react to them? What are you going to do about it? You know, that's when you if you know you're not sitting on your butt and waiting for things to just hand in your lap, you know you're starting to change. You know you're starting to evolve. You know that you're getting things out of your life that is no longer necessary or it served its purpose at its time. And now you know, okay, it's time for me to burn these things off. It's time for me to let go. I need to move forward. This thing, you know, even if you know that things are not, you're not going by things how you used to. 
So it's like, you know, that's a positive change in your life when you can see the things that you did last week or last month or last year and know you're saying, okay, these are the things that I did before, but I'm trying to bring something different now. So that is a blessing when you know you can do that. When you're bringing stuff to the forefront, you, you know, you're you're researching on everything that you possibly can about your life. You're learning more things about your life and more things about your gift that you probably weren't able to accept before. So it, it's just, you keep going, you keep going through these things and you know that you're not giving up and you know that everything you go, you go through serves a purpose somewhere in life or it, it can help out somebody else. You just never know what these things are bringing to you. But you know you're on a path. You don't know where your path is leading you. You could have been on one direction and a mess done took you in a totally different direction. And you go, aha, you know. But everything falls in our lap when it's supposed to. You know, you could have been on one path. Like, like I said many videos before, when I started my channel, my channel was to start off with me telling people about my tragedy on me finding my way home, back to know my family, you know, wanting to reunite wanting to get closure, get answers, as well as my, you know, people got questions. So it's just like when I noticed I was doing that, my, my path took me on a totally different way. I ended up helping out more people. There's more people that was coming my way and saying, hey, Riles, and I'm going through this too. So I can actually say the shifts have really brought me a positive change, even though it might not have been easy and it sure the hell ain't you know been perfect so it's just like when we go through these things we go through them and you just know that okay a change is coming I don't know what kind of changes are coming but I know something is better in life that's waiting out there for me so you keep pushing and you keep thriving and you might not know where your path is leading you but you know you're going somewhere so keep looking out for the sacredness keep looking for the you know pay attention to your dreams even if you're not able to pay attention to your dreams, because sometimes we, we dream with empaths, and especially with our gifts or being heightened, a lot of times you're not going to remember your dreams, but sometimes it'll tap into your daily lives during, you know, you might have a, a daydream. I know a lot of empaths, we, we have a bad habit of daydreaming. And so some of those times our daydreams are our visions to tell us what our next, what our next steps are. What do we do on our journey? What is it going towards? So just look out for those things. Look out for the numbers. Look out for the thing. You know, you're going through something. And just, just keep your eyes open because it's just like when you don't have the answers to everything, trust me, the, the answers might come to you. So when you're looking for something, something is looking for you all the time. So don't give up. Know that, you know, your path is taking you somewhere that's big and great. And just keep the faith and know that things are going to be okay for you. And send out as much light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are blessed and highly favored and truly loved. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I hope you were able to get something out of the content of my video today. You stay blessed and I will see you on my next video. It's the weekend so y'all be responsible. Be safe at everything you do. Remember don't text and drive. Don't drink and drive. And I will see you in the next video. Send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. I love the chance to hear from you. Give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. And I will talk to you in my next video. Peace and be wild.